Our hotel was located directly across from the most beautiful building in Chihuahua, and some say one of the most beautiful buildings in all of Mexico, Quinta Gameros. Quinta Gameros is a collision of styles that include neoclassical and rococo, but it is most famous for its Art Nouveau details. Art Nouveau had taken the design world by storm at the 1900 World's Fair in Paris, and the wealthy elite who aligned themselves with the Mexican dictator Porfirio Diaz were enamored of all things French. Art Nouveau subsequently began popping up in Mexico City and elsewhere in Mexico. Quinta means country house in Spanish and refers to the original inspiration for this magnificent building, but also to the fact that the city of Chihuahua was still sparsely populated and largely rural at the turn of the 20th century. Don Manuel Gameros was one of the wealthiest mine owners in Mexico when he and his wife Elisa traveled to France on vacation in 1904. In the south of France, they spotted a neoclassical villa in the countryside and they vowed to build a replica of it as their Chihuahua dream home. Even though Elisa died later that year, Don Manuel Gameros decided to commission the in-demand Colombian architect Julio Corredor La Torre to design his country house in Chihuahua, Quinta Gameros. Work began in 1907, and before it was even finished, Quinta Gameros was known locally as El Palacio de las Lágrimas, the Palace of Tears, because it was said that it was built on the suffering of the families of miners who had died in the Gameros mines. The home was completed three years later, in 1910, just as the Mexican Revolution was beginning. It was terrible timing because such ostentatious displays of landholder wealth were suddenly out of fashion, and the Gameros family fled to Europe in 1911, abandoning their palatial mansion to the revolutionaries. The interior of Quinta Gameros is marked by rich Art Nouveau details featuring mythological creatures, flora and fauna, and elaborately hand-carved columns, cornices, and crown moldings. This house is a sort of ode to romance and beauty. Quinta Gameros is furnished with authentic Art Nouveau pieces from another mansion that no longer exists in Mexico City. The dining room set is classic Art Nouveau. One of our viewers described it as Hobbit Goth. The Pavo Real, or Peacock Bedroom, is a rare surviving example of an Art Nouveau child's room. There is a local legend that Don Manuel actually commissioned the house not for his family, but to woo a 15-year-old beauty named Rosa. What he didn't count on was that his Colombian architect would also be smitten by the young lady's charms and would incorporate her face into the statues of maidens throughout the house. According to the legend, Don Manuel banished the architect back to Colombia when he found out that they had been canoodling behind his back. Needless to say, Rosa never married Don Manuel, and he died a few years later in El Paso, Texas. And yes, there is a local ghost story set at Quinta Gameros as well. The apparition of a beautiful, barefoot young woman has been seen walking around the second floor. She's even interacted with staff and overnight guards and left physical footprints of a woman's bare feet on the polished floors, earning her the nickname La Descalza, the barefoot girl. Perhaps she is the ghost of Rosa, still having the last laugh at the folly of older men who built this monument to her youthful beauty. We left Quinta Gameros thinking that Rosa had made the right choice. Where are you going, Alice? I'm in search of the best elotes in Chihuahua. Our family in Chihuahua had told us to be sure to stop by Elotes Alex to try their elotes and esquites. So we're in search of the best elotes and esquites in Chihuahua, and we were told that it's in this direction, so let's go. 
Unfortunately, we were out of luck because it was closed. Hey, look, the sax on. We were close to the Mercado, so we decided to go there instead. There's a clothing and food section as well as fresh produce area. You can pretty much get whatever you need here. Chihuahua is vaquero country, that's cowboy country, which means it's a great place to buy leather goods, boots, and denim, which is called mezclilla here. Levi's, you can get 501s for 200 pesos right here. We grabbed some food and then decided it was time for dessert. A nearby sweet shop offered a selection of traditional Mexican goodies. One of my new favorites is candied pumpkin. But I'm not ready to abandon my old favorite, a lime and coconut cocada. This candy store is famous in Chihuahua and they have all types of candied fruit so you can feel good about eating sugar. Once our family had stocked up on travel snacks, we said goodbye to them as they would be flying out a day early. We walked around the city aimlessly, just kind of taking it all in. We happened upon the theater that we had planned to visit the day before, El Teatro de la Ciudad. This particular location has a theater history that goes back to the end of the 19th century. It was the former site of two other popular theaters. It was redesigned and rebuilt in 1947 and christened Teatro Colonial. Later we walked past Pancho's bar. Looks like he's hiring. Anyone looking for a job? this, Alex. They finally opened. Now it was time to go back to the elotes. We had to wait all afternoon, but I've got my esquites and grape dust too. We're ready to try them. <laughs> so good. Truly, really delicious. Mm. Con todo? Con todo. Got my plastic bag in hand. <laughs> nothing but the height of gourmet cuisine here in Chihuahua. This is it. It's got everything. It's loaded with cheese, mayo, and lemon, limon, chile, salsa chile picante. Si. Mm. Mix up that chili because she puts it in like halfway down. So until it's like nice and pink, reddish, then, then it's good. There you go. <laughs> it's a perfect thing on a cold night. The breeze is blowing. It warms you up and makes you feel good. I recommend it. Stop into Elotes Alex if you're in Chihuahua. As we enjoy our last few scenes of Chihuahua at night, we'll leave you with a song written by the Maestro Jose Alfredo Jimenez. The song is performed by Grupo Roji Sopoli, three Raramuri women from the Taromara Mountains, singing about how much they love Chihuahua. Oh,